Hello there and welcome to Net7 News. Today is 6th of May 2016 and in today's headlines, Mount St. Helens earthquake swarm in Washington area could signify an eruption on the way and San Andreas Fault. The Southern California Earthquake Centre says San Andreas Fault is caught, locked, loaded and ready to roll. So first, there have been reports in the last 24 hours of earthquake swarms of minor magnitude quakes in the Washington area in the northwest of the United States, right below Mount St. Helens volcano. Seismologists have stated that in the last eight weeks there have been 130 earthquakes of five of magnitude and less in this area alone. Seismologists are saying that it is a possibility that it is down to the magma rising through the volcano, recharging itself. The last eruption at this volcano was back in 2008. Seismologists are saying that they are keeping a close eye on the issue and are checking to see whether the volcano is waking up from its dormant state, which may be possible due to all of the earthquake and volcanic activity happening around the Ring of Fire, especially these past couple of months where we have seen seismic activity like nothing like it before, with over 3,000 earthquakes in April alone, which is, in fact, a record in the last decade. Also, at the National Earthquake Conference in Long Beach, California last Wednesday, a scientist warned that the San Andreas Fault is, quote, locked, loaded and ready to roll, and stated that the pressure has been building up on that part of the fault without being relieved for more than a hundred years. The center also released on Wednesday a simulation showing the shaking of the California area if a magnitude 8.0 struck there. The thing that they do not know is when. People have been saying for a while now that California has been expecting the big one. But because we cannot predict earthquakes accurately, we just don't know if and when it will happen. So, let me know what you think, comment in the section below and subscribe for more daily Net7 videos. Thanks for listening.